six of this video series. Now that we have the heads out of the car, we can do further testing of the leaky valves uh, using liquid and air. Um, then we'll pull the valves out, uh, do some valve grinding, uh, place them back in, and then retest. Hopefully uh, we can get rid of all those leaks. If not, we'll have to send the uh, heads off uh, to the machine shop and they'll probably have to put some new valve seats in. So anyway, uh, let's get started. All right, here's the setup that I'm going to use to test the leaky valves. I got my compressor hooked up, and I'm going to inject uh, some air right into where the uh, fuel injector normally is. I've taped up the intake ports uh, with some tape here, and uh, then I'm going to put some WD-40 in right here where the valve is, <clears throat> and then if it's leaking, we should see some bubbles form. I realize that we're pumping we're pumping air in the opposite direction and um, the air pressure would try to open the valve. However, I'm only putting in about one PSI, which should not be enough to open the valve. So hopefully we'll put a little air in here and then uh, see where our leak is. All right, let's put some air in here and see if we see any leakage. And there we go. All right, so next let's go ahead and remove this valve, uh, clean it up, use a little bit of valve grinding compound, uh, replace it, and then redo the test. All right, the uh, easy way to clean the valves is just to put it on the end of a drill and then use a Scotch-Brite pad and then just hold it over the end and then you spin it. There. Nice and clean. And as we look around the edge here, uh, it looks pretty good. I don't see any, any pitting or anything around there, so maybe there's something on the uh, valve seat side. We'll take a closer look at that. Okay, taking a look at this valve seat, it looks pretty good. I do see some little minor imperfections and maybe a few little scratches there. So anyway, hopefully the valve grinding compound will take care of that and uh, clean it up and uh, get rid of the leak. We'll see. Okay, I got here some Permatex uh, valve grinding compound. So I'll take a little bit of this and then just put it around the edge of the valve here try not to use this stuff too liberally you don't want to get it uh, down further into the head there into the uh, valve guide then uh, we'll just slide that back down in and then I use this little suction cup device here Put it onto the edge, end of the valve here, and start grinding it. Or you can kind of hear it change its note. It started out sounding really gritty and that's making less noise. By the way, I wanted to mention, if you pull more than one valve out at any given time, you're, you're going to want to label it and make sure that it goes back into the same uh, spot. Um, now, I just spent a minute or two grinding this, and you can see that it's changed color here and also on the valve seat. Um, so it's definitely ground a little bit of material away, giving it a little bit of a haze there. So we'll put the valve back in, uh, do the same test, and see if we still have any leakage. Okay, let's add some air, see if we still see a leak.
yep. Still getting some. All right, I did a little bit more valve grinding, maybe another couple minutes, and uh, put it back together. So let's see if we have any leakage now. Very little, and it's pretty evenly distributed. Very little, much, much better. So we're definitely making some progress here. Okay, for the exhaust side, um, all I did was put some tape over the exhaust port, uh, put a little pinhole in it, and uh, then I'll just use this little tip here to place the air in. So we'll see how this, uh, how this turns out on the exhaust valve. All right, here we go. Let's put a little air in it. Oh yeah, we got some leakage there. Okay, I got the exhaust valve out, and just for reference, this is what it looks like before doing any grinding. And then there's the valve seat. So let's uh, grind it away, and uh, then do a comparison. It's getting very quiet. This is grinding away a lot better than the intake valve. Completely different sound. Okay, now we have moved on to cylinder number two. The one on the right was the first one that we had dealt with, and by the way, that was the cylinder that had the best compression. I think it was 75, and you know, we still had pretty significant leakage here. So number two here, we're expecting it to be much, much worse. And uh, when I put the WD-40 uh, in around the intake valve, um, it didn't even puddle there. It immediately started to soak through the valve seats. We're getting a little tired using the manual system, so I decided to go with the uh, drill attachment. Here's the intake valve on uh, cylinder number three. This is the only one that I've seen like this so far, but you can see that discoloration there. We definitely had some uh, exhaust pulling back into the intake here. That's pretty obvious. So, anyway, yeah, I just uh, did a leak test on this. It was very, very bad. So, uh, anyway, uh, we'll clean that up and then give it a test. I've been successful on uh, cylinders one and two. Um, enough valve grinding and uh, I had zero leakage, so this looks very promising. All right, uh, I couldn't wait to finish uh, doing both heads. So anyway, I cleaned up uh, all the valves on this. I uh, did the liquid leak test. They all look really good. And so I figured I'm just gonna loosely bolt the head back on here using the old bolts. I mean, it's just basically hand tight because I wanna see if I can detect any leakage through the intake or exhaust uh, valves. So anyway, I have the compressor hooked back up again. And uh, we'll run this up to 40 like we did last time. This is on cylinder number two. This was the really bad one. This was the worst one. And wow, this is way better. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm only up to 30 PSI and we're, we're above the green, which is low leakage. And it sounds completely different. Let's see where the leakage is from. I feel nothing out of the intake, nothing out of the exhaust. So either that's uh, coming through the head gasket because I didn't bolt it down very tight or it's going through the piston rings. So anyway, very promising. This looks great. Uh, there's no leakage, no detectable leakage uh, through either the exhaust or intake valves. And that was on the worst cylinder that we had. All right, uh, I think I'll call it quits uh, here for today. Uh, leave on a good note. And uh, in the next video, we'll go ahead and uh, address the uh, other head, do the same thing to it. Hopefully, we'll be as successful with that one. And then hopefully, we can start bolting this motor back together. Till then, see you next time.